I cannot tell you how excited I am for this unboxing right now. I'm hoping Dinah won't bark because she thinks I'm getting ready to leave. I have been waiting for this for a long time. I thought I was going to have to wait a lot longer because if you know anything about Louis Vuitton, the, they hold their value pretty well and they're just going up in price. So when the new Leather Speedies came out, obviously I really want one like everyone else does, but I'm sure the prices are going to be insane. So I was looking at limited edition Speedies because I used to have a limited edition Speedy. I gave it to my friend Mary Caitlin. This is one year older than the bag that I gave her. This bag is from 2015. And you will not believe the price I paid for this. I got this beautiful Louis Vuitton bandolier, bandolier for $720. It came to like right at 800 with tax. Uh, the reason that I got it so cheap is said that it was missing the bandolier strap, which I usually don't use my crossbody straps. I have a ton of crossbody straps hanging on my hat tree. So that's no problem. I'll just use one of my other crossbody straps if I ever want a strap. I noticed this spot looked pretty bad online, but it doesn't look as bad in real life. Now the leather is pretty dark for how old this bag is. Someone must have, I imagine they tried to darken the leather or treat it with something because it is pretty dark, which is part of the reason that I got such a good deal on it, but it's not like black like you see a lot of them. Now let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, and it's missing the keys as well. So, and like all of the gold has come off so that someone used this bag a lot because all of the gold is worn off, which is normal. Louis Vuitton gold plating sucks. Okay, so we are stuffed right now. Oh, and it's, they said that there was an odor, which is another reason I got it for half price because these bags are $1,800 now new. Uh, oh, and another thing, I wanted it to have the new chaps. So see how the stitch is above the grommet right here? Uh, on the old bags, the stitch is below it, and I wanted one with the new chaps. And the wax is starting to split here, which they also mentioned. Uh, I imagine Louie will fix that for me if I pay them to do it. But it's still holding together, so that doesn't bother me. Oh, and they said it had an odor. It has less of an odor than my Balenciaga motorcycle bag that I told you guys smelled like a new car. This has that same, like a new car smell. Like a new used car smell, if you know what that smells like. Um, so I actually thought the smell was gonna be bad and it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. I ordered some charcoal packs on Amazon to get rid of the smell since it said it had a smell, but I'd be happy to use it right now. It has zero smell. I really lucked out. Um, I was hoping that was the case. I was hoping the leather wasn't gonna look as bad as they said. Now the leather actually does look pretty dark. Someone like this, I don't know how they got that so dark. They must have been like putting their wet hands on there or maybe they used a lot of oil or lotion or something. Cause I'm surprised how dark the leather is on the inside of the bag. But for half price, I'll take it. I mean, now I don't I don't have to worry about the leather at all on this. It's all pretty marked up, so I can just carry this casually and enjoy it. I might try to order a set of keys. So my lock is 320, so I just gotta find a set of 320 keys and I could take this off of here. If it starts to weigh down the bag too much, which I imagine it will, especially in the summertime. This canvas gets very flopsy in the summertime. If you don't know, Louis Vuitton, a uh, monogram canvas is not leather. It's a vinyl coated canvas. I'm sure most people who watch my videos know that already, but if you don't. Um... Oh, and they said there were some pen marks, which... Actually, I see more than just pen marks. There looks like a little maybe lip gloss, a little nail polish. So I will wipe this out just in case they didn't wipe it out before they sent it to me because it looks like there's some stuff on the bottom that could just be wiped out. 
Oh, and this bag was made in August of 2015. And it, I just found the Made in USA tag, which I don't think I can show you, but on the other side of that tag there, it says Made in USA. So this is a Made in USA bag, which I'm fine with. I mean, it doesn't make any difference to me. Okay, let me go get the crossbody strap so we can see. Well, you know what? I'm not going to carry it crossbody. This is how I'm going to carry it. I carry her on the crook of my arm. Now, I guess I could, because this is such a capacious bag, I could probably just leave a shoulder strap wound up in here in case I ever want to use it. I'm so happy to have one of these in my collection again. And now me and Mary Caitlin can go out with our matching bags because hers is a Speedy 30 also. I love this so much. Okay, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but let's cut this off together because I'm keeping her. Okay, I finally found the scissors and I wanted to point out that this chap is darker than the others. But I wanted to mention that when I bought my new Louis Vuitton bag in store, when I looked at it, it looked like the Vachetta was all new. When I got it home in Oklahoma, I realized that the pull tab, this bag doesn't have the pull tabs, but I realized that the pull tab was darker than all the other leather, and also the zipper pull was darker than all the other leather. Um, someone had stained it and they had tried to cover it up by darkening the whole piece of leather. Um, so even if you get one new from the store, it could have one piece of leather that's darker than the others. Uh, so that doesn't bother me at all. I'm going to get so much wear out of this bag. These are such great bags. I put my whole trench coat in here on top of all the stuff that I carry in the winter time if I get tired of carrying it. So really great bag. I'm so happy to have this bag in my collection. And now I have the version that I can put a crossbody strap on if I ever want to do that. So that's fabulous. Okay, so I have not wanted to change out of this motorcycle bag since I got it because it's so comfortable. I mean, this string is not comfortable. It kind of digs in a bit, but the bag against your body is very comfortable and like under your shoulder. Uh, but I've been carrying a lot more stuff since I have this bag, so that's perfect because all of, all of it will fit in here. So I've got my key holder that Kevin got me. It's got the fuchsia interior. I'm so excited. I... I've always loved Louis SLGs, and now I have a Louis bag again to put my Louis SLGs in. So I've got my card and coin holder that Kevin also got me. Uh, I've got my Chanel mirror that Candy Sweet Love for LV gave me. I put a rainbow sticker on the back. If you have the co new colored ones, I would definitely put it in a pouch, but since mine's black, you can't really see where it's scratched up. This is my coin holder. My Nana got this for me. And I took, it had this little claw on there, which I didn't like. So I added it to this cute little mouse keychain that my sister gave me when we were kids. And I love this. I'm going to hang it on my bag now, actually. Actually, now that I've got these things, that's a great place for a bag charm. Which side is more stained? This side. So I'll put this over here to hide that little stain a little bit. Okay, so I put my coins in here because this card and coin holder, I really just use it for my cards because it gets kind of annoying to use. If you put coins in here, it makes it difficult to access your cards. So, okay, this is for my coins now. And I'm almost done. Oh, no, I'm not. There's more stuff in the back pocket. Okay, so I've got my turtle. This is my measuring tape, which comes in handy all the time. I got it at Cracker Barrel. Uh... These are my headphones. I got this little Peromi case at skinit.com. This is not sponsored, by the way. Uh, Aquaphor Lippy, because I need it in the winter, but I use it like once a day in the summertime. Well, my lips got really dry yesterday for some reason. I'm not sure why. That's an old vape I need to throw away. Here is some emergency deodorant. It's like an aerosol deodorant in case I forget to put deodorant on keep that in my bag now since I carry a ridiculously capacious bag uh, got my little lint roller for emergencies in case I need one I've never used it once but I've got it in there I've got some sun I'm just gonna take the sunscreen out because I've never used it uh, and I've got my tied to go pen which I don't know if these even work because I use spray and wash on all my stains but 
to pre-treat it when you get a stain. Okay, so that's everything that was in my giant tote bag. And it doesn't take up any room in here. You can see how much room is still left in the bag. And that's more than I need to carry. I mean, I don't need to carry all of this stuff. Uh, let's put my switch in it to see how big it is. Do you have to take the controllers off to fit the switch in? No, you don't. It just slips right in there. And I still have enough room for like an entire like winter coat. <laughs> this is a really great bag. I'm so happy to have this back in my collection. Okay, I won't keep you guys any longer. I love you. I hope you have the best day. Thanks for coming to see me. I'm so excited about my new bag. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video if you want to see it. I hope you have the best day. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I have to praise my Bobos for a second because they were so good. They didn't cry this whole video. They usually cry my whole video or bark. Uh, so I love you guys. Thank you for being so good. They're ready to play now. <laughs>